Hey guys, welcome to Helvetic Arms. Here uh, today, we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna be doing some machine gun shooting, some full auto shooting here. And uh, with our great hosts here, Tacta Hull, thanks to them so much for uh, letting us use their facilities. These are absolutely amazing modern facilities and great guys. So uh, definitely make sure to check them out. Um, as a disclaimer, uh, shooting full auto in Switzerland isn't something that everyone can just go do at the range. We have all the proper permits. We did all the paperwork. Um, and we have our status, our collector status that is uh, in place. So um, there are certain things that you need to do to, to achieve that. So let that be a disclaimer. Um, but now let's have fun and we're good to go. Hey guys, so here we have something special for you guys too. This is a HK33. This is an actual HK33 um, made in uh, 1977. So this thing is a uh, former, uh, uh, it's former Swiss police SWAT team uh, issue, so uh, intervention group, which is the equivalent. So they had one of these. It came. This is actually a G3 SG1, so it came with the longer stock, the um, cheek rest scope, uh, a different handguard, and the uh, bipod uh, with the shorter mags and a wooden box. So this thing's pretty cool. Uh, this thing had a life already before us. So this weapon was actually used in Vietnam, um, not the HK version as much, but more the uh, American uh, T-40, I don't remember the name, who cares, but it's the, uh, the American made version of this um, that they made uh, during a certain amount of time and the SEALs would prefer to use this because it had big old uh, 40 round mag. So they didn't use this thing a ton. There's very few images circulating about this, but it is known that they did use the American made version of the HK33. So uh, we're gonna light this thing up today for you. Uh, let's just, let's, let's roll with it. Let's see how it goes. So we're gonna know, we got, we're doing it wrong. We gotta do this boy right here. They don't absolutely have to, but it's better. Oof, how does that feel? Hmm. Did a good old HK slap in there. All right, let's get to it. Oh, by the way, this is the first time I'm shooting this particular HK33, so uh, I'm gonna try and give you guys some first impressions. All right, it's pretty smooth shooting, actually. It's, uh, it's really smooth. There's not like a strong jerk. Um, also, maybe because of its weight, so it's a roller delay blowback, but it, it's, it's a little heavier than a, your average 5.56 rifle. So uh, maybe that's part of it. Um, but uh, it, it feels nice. All right. Wow, this thing is really controllable on full auto though. Wow, that's great. All right. Let's go. So yes, I am using a three-point sling with this, but this is an original MP5 slash HK rifle sling. So uh, you just gotta, you gotta deal with the three-point. And you know, honestly, I think three-point gets a lot of crap, and it's probably not the best sling. But it's not like unusable. Just get used to it. It works, especially when you're not wearing body armor. Nothing around here, it's nice. HK33, everybody. It's a sweet gun. This thing just rocks and rolls. All right, guys, now we put the uh, other hand guard back on this with the bipod. Let's see how this thing shoots with the bipod deployed. It's probably gonna be pretty smooth. All right. Ready? 
So first, standing up. There you have it guys. So the HK33, the HK33 shoots flat, but uh, now it shoots really flat. But the PK shoots just as flat almost. Actually it does just shoot just as flat. It just has a little bit more push back towards the shoulder, um, but no rise and just on target, I think it's crazy. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a good one and see you soon.